I've never done this before, but Tyler's wife's headlights are really yellow, so I bought a cheap kit thingy majigger and as you can see I done one side just to make sure it wasn't gonna completely go to hell, but there's there's one and that one there was a lot worse, but it had glue residue on it, so I hit it with a little bit of a ninety one percent isyl propyl alcohol. You try to get the glue off of it. Turns out I don't even have to sand these things, it done about as good. <laughs> Anyways, I guess y'all want to watch along for a little bit. A little bit of water, drill, and that's 500 grit sandpaper. That's a used piece from that side just to try to get this glue residue off this stupid thing first. But, I guess, let's see if I can't mess this up. I guess if I mess it up real bad, if you turn around and look that way slightly, I've got, I've got a spare headlight I guess I can give her. Hopefully I don't mess it up, though. Anyway... So you're supposed to put a little bit of water on it. Of course, it's raining, but it ain't raining enough. And then you just go after it. I see that glue coming off. Not sure if you guys can hear me. We had a uh, clear tape on it for a while just it, to help. It actually does for some dumb reason. Um, those of you that don't know, the car's name is Rusty Shackelford because every single week there's a new problem with it. I think all the glue's off of it now. I can switch to the new pad. Fresh pad. If you're wondering about the dent right here, my dad did that. <laughs> he still says it's my fault, but um, we were I was leaving the gas station, and his dad just, boom, and jumped out of his car and said, and I quote, go to your house, I'll fix it. I don't have car insurance. He ripped the light out of my, the plug out of my headlight and uh, said, I don't know where this goes. That was his fixing it. Josh oh. fixed it. Yeah. I popped the fender back out several times and heard his dad may have hit the car, but somehow it continues to get dented back. He's only hit it once. I've pulled the fender out three times now. When I open and the I'm door, done pulling it. When when I open the door, it goes back dented. I don't know what to do about it. So well, that ain't what done that again. I didn't hit it. It was me. Tell her. I like hammers. Anyways, I guess I put a fresh 500 back on this thing. I'm going to run through this one, and then I'll stop, and I'll show you the 800 grit. And then it has a 3,000 somewhere around here, but let's see what happens. <laughs> you guys want to play count the vehicles? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten. <sighs> it happens. Maybe if we ever get to a million subs, we'll uh, stack them two S10 side by side and just send them to Kingdom Come. Well, I like Tanner Rod or something? Oh, uh, Tanner Rod or maybe like a uh, oxyacetylene inner tube. Okay. Listen, so, something along them lines. When you guys get to 50 million subscribers, I will let That'll you Tanner Rod Rusty. That'll never happen. 50 million? Right. We got a long way to go. That's still a safe thing to say. <laughs> I have to say worried about this corner as much as right here. That's just turn signal side. <laughs> These things were just god awful. If that was the alcohol that failed, that would have been alcohol abuse. Yeah. Let's see how alcohol wipes it off. Uh-oh. Anyway. That might be a Your car is now flammable. It's always been flammable. Won't you prove it? No. No. Oh. 
I'm not lighting the front end of your wife's car on fire. All right, guys, let me go find a rag real quick and get that wiped off her, and we'll go to the next one. I wouldn't do that. Okay, okay then. Still hazy, but... That's 500 grit. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. 800's next. Changing the grits out, simple as can be. Oh, yeah, it's just Velcro pads on, like, kind of like a roll lock. Yep. You can do it with a cordless drill, but then I had to worry about the battery dying and all that stupid stuff, so I just ran an extension cord. Batteries. Here. Who needs them? I, mean, I all, do. We all need them, but... Hey, Josh, where'd you get that awesome hoodie at? That you cannot see at all. I mean... I'm trying to do a product placement. Leave me alone. Didn't work. Not at all. <laughs> they have merch now. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of fun with one hand. Mm, like when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> Said I have no clue what I'm doing. That there is really like textured. I might have to go back to the 500 on that. Like it's... Might need to refer than 500 on us. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's, I'll probably go back and hit that again with the new one real quick before I go on up in it. This headlight's in a rough shape though anyways. It's like somebody tried to scratch on it with a knife at one point to clean it up. Wouldn't me. The kit says it's supposed to take 40 minutes. 40 minutes? 40 minutes. Which, I mean, for both sides, that's about right. I'd say. This one here took a little longer. They're kind of rough. Yeah, this headlight's in pretty rough shape. Yeah, I gotta focus right here on this area a little better. It's like Get my mic right next to it. You can probably hear it. It's got a lot of texture to it, but let's see what 500 again can do. <laughs> Water. <laughs> I don't think that's going to come out, folks. That's all right. We'll hit it wrong side. We'll hit it with 800. Then we'll go to the last step. Thank <laughs> you. 
Standard crooked. Well, that's making some difference. Right there in itself. I think. Can y'all tell a difference so far? Other than that really chalky, hazy spot? I can tell a big difference. It ain't green and brown and. Right. Well, we've got scummy. one. Right. We've got one more step on the pads, anyways. And it's a. These are all 3M, by the way, but it's Trizac 3000 grit. And then I've got a, it's like a clear coat HP something, something, something. It's UV protection and all that. I'll show you that when we get there. Use my new hoodie. <laughs> Things I do for my friends, I'm telling you. <laughs> Alrighty, though. Take the lid off this stupid thing. Morning time stream. Catch up your clear coat. You can see reflections in that now. <laughs> that is smooth as glass. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I mean, it worked. <laughs> I don't. I ain't really think. I don't really think she's worried about the uh, paint on this car. No, Just but... wait till I wipe this thing off here for you. Then we got one more step. It ain't showing up on camera, but you can totally see a reflection in this now. I didn't have the angle right to see it, but oh well. We got one more step after that. So if you guys saw at the beginning of the video what this one looked like, well, compare that to this. Oh, we have a victim in there. Oh. Poor feller. Anyway, that looks incredible. Ain't as good as new. No. But it's a lot better than what it was. And they come with these handy dandy, uh, where's that packaging at there? Uh... Headlock clear coat. You're probably supposed to wear gloves with them, but it is what it is at this point. You just take it and obviously this is still really hazy down here. Yeah, that ain't going to go away. That's deep in the plastic, I think. Yeah. There's, there's some real heavy scratches right there, too. Though. Who knows? I'm pretty sure this used to be a police car. At least my wife says it was. So who knows? You're the municipal car, anyway. Yeah. Like a county car yep yeah those are way deep those are like 60 grit scratches that was nothing i'd done yeah looking good we'll go back over this side one more time when that one dries we'll go over it again this will be the second coat of uv on this one that one's got a scratch in it too yeah. actually i don't think that's a scratch i think it's just in the molded like that yeah. no it's got two lines that are molded into yeah them, okay but... Anyways, when this one over here dries out again, we'll put another coat on it. I guess. Can't hurt nothing. Well, alrighty guys, final product. A little better. It's a lot better. Rather than trying to shine through a slice of American cheese, I suppose. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Shine a lot through a slice of American cheese. Still. That's bright. Yeah. 
a good set of light bulbs might actually help in these things now. Yeah. I think now we'll actually be able to see it not on the way home from filming videos and stuff for you guys. Nice background, too. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, all in all, guys, I guess. I, I didn't really realize this was going to be a, uh advertising video for this, but I like it. It seems to work really well. We'll give updates on it, how it seems to hold up anyways. That's the UV protection I put on it. It's supposed to last for two years, but I mean, for 20 bucks and, you know, hour of your time, I guess, if you take your time and really get after it, you know, and try to do it good, it's well worth it. That's a, I don't know, that's what it is anyways. I got it at O'Reilly's. So actually, my wife picked it up, but I don't know. I appreciate you doing this. Well, no Helped problem. Helped out a lot. No problem, buddy. See you guys in the next one. See ya.